Not only am I going to kick you in the face, I'm going to give you a piece of brick to go with it. So that's how it happened. The land is Interesting. On a legendary punch from one of royal blood said to completely dominate the opponent's brain. The Imperial Phantasm Punch. Does he really mean that much to you, that punk? <laughs> oh, this man really just... They already beat him once. Oh shit, that man gave him a football head. Damn! Lord Iolia will never be free of the Imperial Phantasm Punch unless he kills one of his enemies. I hope he isn't planning to sacrifice himself. Because the name of the title will, will, it seems like he's going to die this episode. I'm going to be the one who ends your life, Cassius. Well, that's what I'd really like to do, but... All right, man. These two episodes, man, 52 and 53, these two episodes, man, these two episodes were dedicated to Cassios, man. Cassios was the guy that said defeated in episode one to get the Pegasus cloth. And we actually found out that Cassios, he actually is feeling China. And oh yeah, China. You know, we got to, we got to see China again these two episodes, so it was good to see her again. She was still recovering from that attack that Iolia gave her when they was in Japan. Cassios, he he sacrificed his life not only for China, but he also did it to help bring Iolia back to normal because the attack that the Pope gave Iolia was not gonna wear off until he killed one of his enemies. So he was gonna make a sacrifice to be the one to, to be killed by Iolia. So Ioli will come back to the senses. And, you know, this episode 53 ended off with everybody surrounding him. Shun, Seiya, uh, Iolia, and uh, Shiru. They all surrounded I I I mean, they all surrounded Cassio's dead body. And we're going to see what happens moving forward to here. Because now Iolia, he's back to normal. He's back on their side. So we're going to see if he's going to join Seiya, Shun, and um, whatchamacallit, Shiru. If he's going to join all of them to the next temple or if he's just going to stay in the Leo temple. I hope he joins them and fights them with the next gold saint. But it, it's good to see that Ioli's back to normal. You know, I'm kind of, it's unfortunate that Cassius had to be the one to bring it back to normal. But come on now. We didn't want Seiya to die in order for Ioli to bring back to normal. So they had to, they had to bring somebody in to kill so Ioli can come back to normal. So I understand the decision making. But I just never knew this guy had feelings for Shina. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, leave a like. And if you're watching this video, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And until the next Sensei reaction, I'm saying thoughts. It's the same life. I'm out, bro. I love y'all.